Why did they send Pycelle to the Wall? Grand Maester Pycelle, that old wily fox from Game of Thrones. A man who'd held his position through the reigns of several kings, each with a different idea of what it means to rule the Seven Kingdoms. You have to appreciate the man's grip on power, the kind that sticks harder than pitch on a ship's hull. First things first, Pycelle was loyal but to one true thing only, his own self-preservation. He'd rub elbows with those in power and slink away from those falling out of it with the agility of a cat dodging rain. And a man like that? He's got to keep his ears open and his mouth in line with those ears. Now to the wall. That's the kind of place you send folks who've meddled one too many times, or stuck their noses a bit too deep into the power keg that is King's Landing. It's cold, it's remote, and it's a beautifully poetic place to stash away the overly ambitious, the disgraced, or those who just know a little too much for comfort. Pycelle, for all his tenure and wisdom, wasn't sent to the wall in the traditional sense. That's more of an out for disgraced knights, unwanted bastards, and the occasional criminal whose hands are just too dirty for the city's liking. His dispatch, in the narrative we know, isn't so literal. However, it stands to reason that if Pycelle's proverbial fortune were to sour, his numerous enemies would delight in dispatching him to such a place. A lifetime of scheming behind the rich tapestries of the Red Keep could catch up to a man. So if Pycelle found himself ousted, and his head still miraculously attached to his neck, the loneliness of the wall would be the kind of poetic send-off fitting for a man who played the game as long as he did. Sending Pycelle to the wall would be a way to rid the court of a player who's seen too many kings come and go, and avoid the messiness of a public execution, which could ruffle some high-placed feathers. And the wall? Well, it strips a man of his titles and lands, turning lords into brothers in black, and for someone like Pycelle, that's tantamount to a death sentence anyway, just at a slower pace.